Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Candice. Um, if you're not and you're a returning viewer or subscriber, hey! As always, I hope this video finds you well and I hope you're good. I created this glam look. It's inspired by the Beyonce alien superstar. I don't know about you, but I've been listening to Renaissance non-stop, non-stop. Like, she's really showing the girls and the whole music industry what no skips really means so i love that song so much that song gives me that girl vibes like i'm not even on earth when i listen to that song so i wanted to channel that into a look and this is what i created and came up with as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video and don't forget to follow me on the rest of my socials for more content without further ado let's get into it enjoy you guys know the drill already before we get into any makeup grab a drink grab a beverage grab a snack and let's get into it i've already prepped my skin obviously and done my brows did them a little different i haven't concealed my brows in a while so they're looking very sharp <laughs> anyway i went in with my milk hydro grip primer this is the jumbo one um fresh brand new lovely but i'm actually gonna use a bit more even though I've already put some on. So the face is nice and tacky and we're gonna go in and we're gonna color correct. And I'm gonna go in with this Sigma Beauty Spectrum Color Correcting Duo in the shade Dark to Deep. I'm gonna take my trusty Smashbox Blurring Concealer Brush. We're gonna take the darker shade here and we're gonna concentrate that around my mouth because that's where I have most of my happy pigmentation. I am just going to take this classic spatula and I'm going to go in with this new foundation. Well, it's not new. Um, I just haven't used it. So this is the Shiseido Radiant Skin Lifting um, Foundation. This is in the shade 440 Amber. I'm just going to take the end of that Smashbox brush actually and I'm just going to just try that all over my face. This. I don't know if this is going to give me enough coverage. Um, I've pumped out three pumps, which is probably a bit too much. I've got some new tools. So I've got two hourglass brushes. Um, this is a new hourglass foundation brush. This is a brush that you would have seen, the dual ended powder brush. Also got some of the new Morphe Vegan Pro brushes. Um, just basically the main face ones bar I think like two. I'm so excited to try them. So for foundation I have two options. I have obviously the hourglass one and then I also have the Morphe one. I think I'm going to try the Morphe one and leave the hourglass one for like tomorrow. So this is what the Morphe one looks like. It's similar to the E63 but it's like two E63s put together. So there's like one on that side and one on the other side. Um, that side. This is one of my favourite brushes so because this looks like this, this is slightly more dense. I'm very helpful for this one. Let's hope. Okay. Okay, so this is quite, this is giving me the most coverage, which is what I need with this foundation. I think this foundation might be slightly pink. Okay. Okay, this foundation is a little, <laughs> it's a little different to what I'm used to, so the shape is a little weird, but it's cute. Very cute, very nice. Not a full coverage foundation, but I think this brush is giving me the optimal coverage that I can get from this foundation, despite this foundation being a medium coverage foundation. I think the undertone is off, so it's making it look a little light, especially on my phone camera, because I'm filming to 
well, trying to film multiple pieces of content at the same time. I'm trying a new product for contour. I've used this product before, but not for contour slash bronzing. So I'm going in with the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focused Airbrush Concealer. That was a mouthful. You would have seen that concealer a couple of places. Um, it's on TikTok shop. Because I know this blends quite easily, I'm actually gonna just put it on my face. Um, like so. I've never actually, well I have in the past, I don't typically use concealer for um, bronzing or contour. I'm just going to put it here, I'm not bringing that contour too low. There's a little bit much in. I don't put any anywhere else. I'm hoping that this is deep enough. The brush that I used for foundation was the Morphe V102 brush. I really, really like this brush. The brush that I'm going to use to blend that out is the Morphe V100. This is from their new Vegan Pro range. And I'm just, just putting that around the perimeters of my face. This is going to help to bring back the warmth to my face rightfully so because that foundation. I don't know if it looks like that on camera, but it had been looking away and this blends so nicely. So, so nicely. And so this looks like more of my colour now, thank God. Um, I think that I want to add in a little bit more depth to my face. So I haven't used this in a while, but I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in the shade Hazelnut. And I am taking a Space NK 102 brush. It's a flat top brush like this. And I'm just going to dip into this, placing it right here. Just because I want to deepen that up, but I don't want to, you know, slightly over it. Something on this side. I'm literally just putting this here. I'm gonna go in again with another HB Cosmetics concealer, but this time this is in the shade SFW. I'm just concentrating it here and here. This is quite yellow, and I will lighten it. I'm just putting that here. Get all my chin, a little hair, sort of down the nose, um, and here. As always, if you see me look into the sty, that's where my, um, <laughs> that is where my, um, mirror is. So for cream blush, I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want this to be pink or peach with this particular look. Do I want pink or peach? I really don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Joy. I'm going to take this right here. And I take two dots because I am black. And the people that were saying that you need just one... That's for the, the, the fair skin, lighter, white babes. To blend that out, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe V108 brush. I'm literally just gonna take this here. I always put some sort of blush on my temple, just because if you apply blush in one area, it's not gonna make your whole like face look cohesive. Um, so applying blush to your temple, and afterwards I will apply a little bit to my forehead. Um, but applying blush to other areas is going to make your blush look better, basically. I'm not taking it to the centre of my face because that makes my face look more full. I want to lift my face, so I'm keeping it high. And sort of join it, actually, to that. Um, I'm taking a little on my chin. Take a little on my nose. Remember, major key, when you are doing your makeup, 
do go back in with the brushes that you just used. I'm just going back in with the leftover product on the brush that I used for my initial bronzer contour. Um, I'm just going in with this Coco Cosmetics by Chloe sponge. Um, I think it's the 01 sponge. Um, my trusty made by Mitchell Mirror. You guys know the drill by now. And I'm just going to bend out that concealer. just go back in with that same brush brush what I am going to do is I'm going to take a very very light concealer these concealers were gifted to me by the way if I did not say the HMB cosmetics concealers that you're seeing me using they were gifted to me kindly and they are really really good do not sleep on them um so another HMB cosmetics concealer this one is in the shade SF 2.5 W very very light as you can see and I'm dotting that right here. That's really it. A little bit here. Actually, we don't even need to because we're going to use the rest and spread it. This looks quite scary right now, but just bear with me. I'm going to show you guys in real time how this Trigwell powder puff works. And I've tried a few powder puffs before, but the girls weren't lying. The girls were not lying when they said that this Trigwell one is the one. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Forest Finish Powder in the shade number two. Basically just tapped and sort of rubbed that powder onto the puff. And I really took my time to push that powder into my face to ensure that I wasn't disrupting my base. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay down some powder. To do that, I'm going to go in with my trusty Huda Beauty powder in the shade um, Banana Bread. Underneath my face like this. Like so. I'm going to take the rest of my chin and here so and i'll come back and i'll fix these areas because i basically have creases around my mouth so the makeup always separates there i'm going to get my charlotte tilby airbrush fullest finish powder this is in the shade number four and i'm going to get that hourglass brush just tap that lightly in these areas i feel like this powder is slightly neutral so i don't really can you see it's like neutral, yeah. I don't really use too much of it. The next powder that I'm going to use is this Dior Backstage Powder. This is in the shade 7N. This is not that dark, so I'm literally just using that to more or less just set the contoured areas of my face. It's not going to add much dimension. It's not going to add anything other than really just set that contour and we'll come back to powder blush at the end I'm going to do my eyes now and um, underneath my brows I've already got the Too Faced Boneless Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut underneath that I took the excess of the HMB Cosmetic Concealers and I tapped that onto my eyes I'm going to put a little bit of the Too Faced Boneless Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch I'm going to put a little bit of that here I'm going to take this full colour brush this is from a Beauty Bay brush set and um, it's quite dense I'm just going to tap that concealer across my eyelid. Then what you want to do is you want to set that. So I'm going to go in with my Airbrush Fullest Finish Powder by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade number 2, medium again. Just making sure that there's no creasing on my eyelid. 
And then I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush. I'm not too sure. I think it's the, I want to say it's the 402 brush. It's rubbed off, unfortunately. And I'm just going to tap that all over my lids. Tap that nearly up into the um, under eye, under brow area, sorry. I'm going to get your eyeshadow palette now. I literally, I think I just need a brown and a grey and a black. I really wanted this to be a one palette look. Unfortunately, this particular palette is an entirely matte palette, but it's an amazing palette. And it's the only nude palette that you'll ever need. Um, and this was gifted to me. So this is a Jordana Tissia, um, I hope I'm not, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the Jordana Tissia, um, Nude Divinity Palette. Um, a beautiful palette, truly beautiful. I absolutely love the names as well. This is what it looks like. The only nude palette that you'll ever need. Literally the only, super pigmented. I haven't tried them, but from what I've seen and heard, I've heard nothing but good so far. Super pigmented, easy to blend, especially with each other. And even if you're not like a pro with eyeshadow like me, like I know how to do eyeshadow, but I'm not a pro. This is gonna make things a lot easier. I haven't done eyeshadow in so long, so I'm kind of scared. Anyway, what I am gonna do is I am gonna take this Made by Mitchell ME1 brush. This is gonna be a, a silver slash um, gray look. On black people, you have to be careful or else you're gonna wash out the skin tone, which is why I've made sure that everything is quite pigmented on my face. I'm gonna go in with Crescent. I'm gonna go in with this one here called Astral and I might go in with Nova. I have a long tail of my eyebrow and I refuse to shave it off, to cut it off, to glue it. I don't have time to glue it down or anything or to block it out. Um, so what I have done is try to take them up a little higher even though there is hair there. But we're going in with Crescent. And we're just working that here. And we're bringing it slightly out. Slightly outside of the brow. Like that. Then I'm going to bring Crescent this way. Like this. So don't worry, it doesn't have to be too tidy at present. I'm going in with a little bit because this is very pigmented. It doesn't look like much. But we're building it up. It's called a bullet brush. Um, this is the Destiny Beauty DB08 brush and we're gonna go in with Astral so that's that grey. Again this is very pigmented. This is Astral. So we're taking Astral, basically, remember we're not going in here, I don't want it to, I don't want to completely cut off my eye, I want to leave a bit in the front, so it's very pigmented, I wasn't expecting it to show up on my skin like this, but it did. Make sure you blend in Astral with Crescent, the colour that we used before, and then if need be, go back in with Crescent on the outside. And don't be scared to wing it out and let it go past the eye. We're gonna go in with Nova, which is that black shade. And we're not gonna go in with too much. Um, this is a By Jungle M2 eyeshadow brush. It's basically a bullet brush. Basically going in at the edge of those shadows, like so. Going back in with Astral, I'm going right over Then we're going in with Crescent again on the outside This is turning out different to what I imagined and wanted but it's still working so I'm not complaining
the leftover of the Astro, that grey. So this is the Made by Mitchell Do You Want Some Milk palette. Made by Mitchell's, um, well, Mitchell, his formula is by far one of the best that I've seen. So pigmented, so rich. And the two shades that we're going to go into is this one here, and this one here. We're going to go in with Binx. On a, another sort of bullet looking brush, this is the By Jungle M6 brush. I love the By Jungle brushes, by the way. Super affordable, small black owned matriarchal business. Go and support them. Same bullet brush. And we're just going here just to sort of ash that out. Like I'm going in between the gray that we, the dark gray that we initially had, Astro, and between that, um, the brown crescent shade. Added more of a, like a gray tone to the look which is what i wanted because it is lighter so it's added slightly more dimension but going back in with the me5 me1 sorry made by mitchell brush and that brown crescent shade and i'm just going in right at the top again i grab a fluffy blending brush like a morphe brush oracle is this shade right here and i'm going to take that at the very edge off and this is just going to help to sort of diffuse everything so i'm not looking crazy i'm gonna take this made by mitchell me9 brush um it's like a tapered blending brush it's literally just a two-faced hangover three-in-one priming setting fixing spray now for the shimmer like i said i'm going to go in with that feline shade from the made by mitchell do you want some milk palette and we're just going to dip our brush into there, like so. And we're literally just going to... Oh, yeah. This is it. This is... Literally... This is it. Exactly. I'm not even using a lot. But look at the payoff. Crazy. I think I might go in with a bit of that black to sort of deepen it up. I quickly added lashes and mascara and did my other eye, of course. These are the Jordana Tissia JT3 lashes. I didn't cut them or anything. I have big eyes, so I don't need to cut them. I also went in with the NARS Climax Extreme mascara on my top. Um, but more noticeably, my bottom lashes. Um, this was gifted to me. NARS, like, as in the NARS, gifted me some products. Girl. Honestly, I'm so grateful. Anyway, very quickly because my battery is about to die on the camera. Um, so for blush, I'm going in with this Kiko Cosmetics blush. This is the Smart Color blush in the shade 7. And then I'm taking this Morphe V115 brush. I believe this is their powder brush. But I'm basically just taking this on the apples of my cheeks. To bring back colour to my face because the colour was gone, girl. The colour was gone. Like when you're using more cool tone colours like silver, that colour will display it like nothing. A little bit on my nose. I'm gonna take a little bit. Hey, um, I forgot to also say that I went in with this KBG tattoo eyeliner just to add a little point to my inner corners. Mid-tone blushing, you guys know the vibes. So I'm gonna go in with this kaleidoscope. Blush. This was kindly gifted to me by Kaleidoscope Makeup. They sent me a big, big box of things um, that I'm yet to try on this channel, of course. Um, and I'm going to go in with this Morphe V105 brush. It's like a lighter version of the one that I just used. I'm basically just taking this at the very top of my blush to blend my under eye and my blush more seamlessly. Now I'm going to quickly do my lips and I'm going to go in with these two lip liners from Destiny Beauty. Again, I can't remember the names, but I will link them down below. I'm going to take the lighter one first.
I want to take the dark one on the outside. So this is the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade Board Meeting. I'm just going to concentrate that in the centre of my lips. Like so. I don't know if it's dark. What's going on here? Ooh! Am I going to leave this matte? Am I going to leave this matte? Hold on. I've just gone in and I've added a bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Satin Lipstick in the shade Butterscotch, I believe. I added a little bit of that to the centre of my lips. I'm still unsure about whether or not I should leave it like this or add a gloss. I have gone ahead and set my face and I've gone in with these two. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is the Jumbo Size MAC Fix Plus Stay Over. So I decided to add a gloss and I added this Pat McGrath gloss in the shade Astral Moonflower. It's this beautiful iridescent blue shade and I think it's quite complementary to the silver on my eyes. I quickly went in with this Refi highlighter and I added it onto my nose and then I quickly went back in with the Trigwell Puff and the Charlotte Tilbury Force Finish powder un in the shade number two underneath my eyes, just yeah, underneath. This is basically the end of the video. I'm very much done. Um, this eye is watering, so it's giving me a couple of problems, but look at this side. This eye is giving me all the vibes. Oh, but this is the final look. This is the final look. It's definitely heavy duty glam. And I really love how it came out. I think it's very me. It's very gorgeous. Um, it's inspired by the Beyonce Alien Superstar song. Those are the vibes that I was going for. That song gives you that girl energy, so I had to give you a that girl glam. Do you know what I'm saying? This is what I came up with. This is not <laughs> what I intended it to be, but I love it nevertheless. I think the silver is really gorgeous. The Made by Mitchell shimmers are amazing. I really do love the Morphe Vegan Pro brushes. They are so, so soft. I might go back and get the rest. Or Morphe, if you see this, do you want to send them to me? I'd really appreciate it. I love. I, I really do love. The Nude Divinity palette by Jordana Tissue are amazing, amazing, amazing. Like I said, there's one palette that I'd recommend. You will not need any other nude palette again. Like, it's the best um, nude palette out there right now, in my opinion. The owner of the brand and the CEO, she is a makeup artist, so she literally knows what you need in your kit. So if you're an MUA, I would definitely recommend. This Trigwell Puff is amazing. It's amazing. It's converted me to the powder puff side i've been a damp beauty blender babe for powder for a very very long time but this has done it for me get your hands on this if you can right. this brings me to the end of this video thank you so much for watching this video i really do hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something please comment down below what you liked or what you learned what you'd like to see from me like i said i want to engage and interact with you guys more because we're a family we're a community and we're working on building that and establishing that yeah thanks um <laughs> don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video if you did like this video don't forget to subscribe so that you don't lose me and you don't miss me and you don't miss any of the content that i'm posting like i said weekly youtube tutorials got this like i promise um and i've kept my word so far thank you so much for watching see you in the next one until then take care and bye